Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob, I'm co-founder of Bison Track Gear, and I'm here today at MSR Houston. It's mid-February 2021, round one of the CMRA season, and the weather is beautiful. It's supposed to go downhill a little bit as we get into the race weekend, but I'm gonna take advantage of this nice weather and clean up a friend and client's leathers here. These are Dave Dom's leathers, he crashed them a couple times late last year, and I told him I'd clean them up and condition them for round one. So what I have here are several products that I use to desalt, clean, and condition leathers. These are products and also some tools. I'm gonna to show you what I use and how I use them. Let's get underway. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove the liner. Assuming you have a bison suit, you have a fully removable inner liner. If you have a fixed liner, you can still deal with that. But to remove an inner liner, you typically will take this zipper off the torso area. Down at the sleeves, you should have Velcro or zippers at the end of the sleeves. We will un-Velcro those. And then pull the sleeve up through the arm. Once the arms are out, obviously we move to the legs. Same story there, you're either gonna have zippers or Velcro at the bottom of the leg. In a bison suit, we'll un-Velcro at the bottom, one above the zipper, and then pull the leg out. Un-Velcro the groin area and the legs Pull straight out, like it. Now at this point, we have the liner completely out. Now we can get to the inside of the leather and do some work while we wash the liner. Now before I get too far into what we are going to do to these leathers, let's talk about why we are cleaning the leathers. Now there's a lot of different reasons to clean leathers, the most obvious being stuff on the outside of the suit. You're going to see rubber, tar, asphalt, and just general gunk on the outside of your suit. That's what's normally going to drive you to clean it. A lot of people just scrub the outside of the suit and they call it good because it looks clean. But especially if you have a white suit, and more especially if you have a perforated light colored suit, you're going to see stuff more frequently and it's going to be harder to clean out. But let's talk about what's underneath, what's inside the leather, and that's really the reason you need to clean your gear, not just your suit, your boots and your gloves also, you need to clean them regularly. Let's start with moisture. Now moisture does a few things to leather. First and foremost, when leather is moist, the natural oils that are inside the hide are extracted during the evaporation process. That in turn dries out your leather. Ironically, the moisture dries out your leather. And dry leather just doesn't have the elasticity in the hide to protect you in the case of a fall or a tumble. Now you want your leather to be nice and pliable, obviously, so it stretches and doesn't tear. The same holds true for seams and that sort of thing as well. We want those to be nice and lubricated hence the natural oils inside the suit. The other thing that happens with moisture is if it is allowed to fester, the suit will literally rot from the inside out. The pores in the hide will fester and harbor bacteria, which will then eat away at the hide and cause a failure ultimately over time. Now, we are going to stop that process with what we are doing today. And I will tell you right off the bat, I recommend keeping your suit dry as much as you can. Never store it wet, and if possible, do something like this. We highly recommend the hang dry system. We got ours from Southern Adrenaline, they're one of our partners, and you can get $5 off by using the promo code BISON with Southern Adrenaline. Uh, really recommend one of these things, I swear by it. As soon as I get off the bike, I take my suit off, I put on the hang dry, and it's dry for the next session. So, that is going to help prevent a lot of this damage, this ongoing damage that we're talking about, it's gonna stop it in its tracks, get moisture out of there immediately. Now, when we talk about moisture, there's another thing that happens, and that is salt is brought to the surface of the leather. It's, it's brought, introduced into the leather. Now actually, we all know that when we sweat, we're going to put salt into our clothing, or in this case, our suit, our gloves, our boots. Sweat is obviously a vehicle for salt, but what you may not know 
is that inside the leather you have some residual salt from the tanning process and as the moisture goes into the suit again we talk about moisture it pulls those suit or pulls that salt to the surface you'll start to see some modeling sometimes on the outside of a dark colored suit especially a flat black suit kind of look like uh, urban camo that's the salts in the leather so that's a good indicator that you're going to need to go ahead and desalt your leathers now we're going to do that on this set of leathers today i use angelus desalter product and a angelus soft bristle brush and then we'll remove the excess using this microfiber now obviously the whole suit is going to have been sweated in some but the armpits the grind the back of the knees those are the areas you're going to, want to sweat the most and they're going to the airflow that you're going to stay is dry. You're always tucked up when you're on a race bike and your knees are tucked in and that just accumulates that salt. So we're going to be sure to scrub that desalter in very generously in the armpits, the groin, and the knees. So let's get started with the desalting process. All right, before we get started on desalting the suit, we are going to pull out the padding. So go ahead and uh, you should see some pouches Ours uh, on the bison suits are Velcro attached leather pouches, and you will see the pads in there. Just unvelcro, slide those out, and we are going to inspect the armor at this point. This is a good time to check for any deterioration or broken armor, anything like that. And hey, replacement's a good excuse for upgrade. So if you have CE level one, like this suit does, upgrade to level two. If you have CE level two, upgrade to force field. Force field armor is now available through Bison, in fact. So slide the forearms out of there. Now what we are going to do is turn the sleeve as inside out as possible. It's pretty pliable at this point, but we do have that big elbow guard on it. So I'm gonna pull it through as much as possible. And now we have access to the armpit. This is where we are going to desalt. I'm just going to liberally apply this, let it kind of soak in, and then scrub with the soft bristle brush. Like brushing your teeth, I use a circular motion. Now you kind of want this to get wet. You, the idea is you want it to kind of come through the leather to the other side. So through the back side of the leather, out the other side, that's almost what we're going for. So don't be afraid to get it nice and wet. All right, now, once you clean these areas, you can leave them open to dry, move on to the next arm. Okay, so once we're done with that, we'll take our microfiber, hold it, and just use it to wipe down and remove any excess desalter, just kind of accelerate the drying process and pull some of that salt that we scrubbed, pull it out of the leathers and away. Now as we work on this red panel here, I want you to kind of watch what happens. I'm Gonna add quite a bit of desalter here. Take the scrub brush, start immediately working that around in there, and you can see that uh, it kind of starts to froth. Hope that you can see that. But it's almost uh, like a sudsing situation, and that's how you know you've got plenty of desalter on the leathers. Same story, now that we've applied the product and scrubbed it in, use our microfiber and really pull as much as we can away from the suit.
All right, so we're back with a nicely desalted suit interior, and now we can clean it. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why didn't I just clean the panels while I was in the arm? Because now I'm gonna turn it all back inside out. Well, I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. As I pull this sleeve inside out, again, these panels are pretty dry since I've moved on to the rest of the, of the suit. And what that means is as I apply my cleaner, I can see the coverage. So it's not still wet from the desalter. I can now put the cleaner product on. I can tell what's wet and what's not and where my coverage is. I am using an Angelus Easy Cleaner today. This is pretty universal stuff. You can use it on just about anything, but it is safe for leather and it does a good job. I've also got some Meguiar's Gold Class Leather Cleaner here, which I picked up at Walmart. I bought this in a bind and it actually does a pretty good job. Now, uh, my recommended product of choice, if you've read the blog at bisontrack.com on how to clean your gear, is a Motul cleaning product. It's just a little bit hard to come by and a little bit pricier than these options. Now, today what I'm going to use is actually the Meguiar's because it sprays and it's super easy to use. I'm just gonna apply it directly to the leather, just as we did with the desalter. I'll use my soft bristle brush and get to scrubbing. A lot of elbow grease in this process, but the payoff is well worth it. Not just because of the looks, but because your suit and your gloves are going to love you for a long time if you take good care of them. Okay, just as we did with the desalter product, we're going to use our microfiber towel and wipe away the excess. This is going to help it dry. It's also going to pull some of that stuff out of the leather. It's going to amplify the cleaning and desalting processes. Okay. Turn that back and move on just as I did with the desalter. All right, so we are desalted, we are cleaned on the inside. I'm now going to use my beloved hang dry and hang these leathers up for about 30 minutes. If you don't have a hang dry, you're gonna to wanna to wait one to two hours before we start on the exterior of the suit. We want everything to be nice and dry so that we can just have a reset on the outside. Here's my hang dry, got the suit. I'm gonna hang it up for 30 minutes and we'll come back and do the outside. The outside's gonna be really rewarding because it's filthy. Now before we get started on this suit, I wanna share with you a really important note. Make sure whatever product you use, even if it's one that I recommend, you use it in an inconspicuous area of your suit, test it on every color and every print make sure that it's not gonna damage the finish, especially on printed patches such as the cycle gear patch. If you have a printed pattern in your suit such as a camouflage or even a fluorescent color like orange, pink, or green. Some of these products will pull the color right off the leather. So make sure you test an inconspicuous area. Somewhere under the boot is great. Otherwise, just use this small area, maybe on a Q-tip and see if it hurts the color. Whatever product you use, it's important that you use a microfiber towel. As we move to the outside of the suit, I'm actually gonna do away with the brush for the most part unless I get into a really tricky seam or something that I have to scrub some mud out of. Otherwise, I'm really just gonna use the microfiber for scrubbing. I'll cross that bridge once we come to it, but for now, just make sure you test your products in an inconspicuous area. One of the areas you're probably going to see the most difference is actually going to be on the butt of the suit. I'm gonna apply cleaner here and, <clears throat> now Dave's got some crash damage, but beyond that, beyond needing some re-dyeing, <laughs> a lot of this stuff, I mean, the white is just gonna clean up a lot. Uh, here's a spot on the leg and the white, so, Again, being a little gentle, circular motion with the microfiber, it's taking it right out. So things like that are really what you're after when cleaning. Get a little bit more aggressive with it. And yeah, not hurting the color, but it's cleaning up. So 
those are really the things that we want to try to hit, you know, with the suit. Is just get the superficial stuff off of there. Again, this suit actually probably isn't the greatest example because uh, it's it's had more crashes than use. Um, it's just kind of fun to play around with and see what we can take off and what stays. So in here we've got just some dirt inside the uh, the bison traction knee grip. A little circular motion with the brush there. Pull that junk out. Just clean it back off with the microfiber. Good as new. All right, so we're back and I actually cheated a little bit. I hung this up for a couple of hours on our hang dry instead of doing 24 hours overnight. Now, normally we'd want the suit to dry as much as possible before conditioning it. In this case, it was already pretty dry. We've got nice weather out here in Houston. I had the hang dry and I think we are sufficient to go ahead and condition. Now, here's what we're going to do on the conditioning step. First thing, you wanna shake your product really well no matter what you're using. I'm using a Clean Freaks leather conditioner available through Clean Freaks USA. Check them out, you get a 10% discount when you uh, use the promo code for Bison. And I'll link that here on the video. But now that I open this up, I'm going to go ahead and, mm. <laughs> what I love about this is it has a leather scent to it, which is really good. So first thing we're going to do is apply it to the applicator directly. I'm gonna start up here where I began cleaning and just start working it in. I have already tested this on an inconspicuous area and it works beautifully. So I'm gonna focus just on these white panels up here on the shoulder areas. And then I'm going to move down to the chest. This ensures that we get nice even coverage if you focus panel by panel. Now here's the thing about conditioning, and this is tricky. You can over condition your suit. You definitely can. And that's something that a lot of people don't realize, but the, what the conditioner is going to do, it's going to help you retain the natural oils in your suit. <clears throat> but actually over conditioning the suit will have the opposite effect. It's going to retain moisture. These pores in the hide of your suit need to be able to breathe. Now a good way of telling how much product you're using and if it's too much is to start on the perforated areas of the suit. You shouldn't have any slag, I guess you say, any, uh, you know, just slime inside the pores of the perforation. It should be nice and clear. Now you're going to be able to see that you're applying the product even if you don't slather it on. When you slather it on, the pores of the perforation get clogged and you can tell you just have too much product. If it's clogging the pores and the perforation, you know you have too much even for the solid panels. In addition to using too much product, you can over condition with frequency. And what I mean by that is I only condition my suit once, maybe twice a year, depending on the conditions. Everybody rides differently. Everybody rides in different conditions and uh, <clears throat> Everybody cares for their suit a little bit differently, but I personally don't see a need to condition a suit more than once or twice a year. There are times where you're going to be able to tell that your suit is getting a little bit dry, uh, especially in the perforated areas. You're going to feel in between the perforation that is dry. You may even see some little uh, hairline cracks forming in between the perforation. That's a bad deal. That means you need to get that suit desalted and conditioned as soon as possible. Now you can see I applied some product and started down here. I've brought this towel all the way up to the top of the chest without reapplying any conditioner. Um, I'm still seeing the transfer of the conditioner onto the leather. Again, I don't need to slather the towel up with conditioner every two seconds, you know. A little bit kind of goes a long way with this. You can see I'm still kind of pulling some stuff off the suit. So even though we're conditioning here, we're also still cleaning a little bit. Again, you want to make sure you don't get a bunch of product in one area. That's the key here. 
<clears throat> and the black is really easy to tell where you're conditioning. The lighter colors are more difficult, but with the black, I can see right away, as soon as I apply the conditioner, it gets shinier, it's more pliable. It's almost instantaneous when you get the conditioner on there. Okay, so as I've been conditioning the top of the suit here, it's had some time to set in and do its thing. Take a clean microfiber now. Circular motion, I'm just gonna kinda lightly brush and pull off any excess conditioner. This also ensures a nice uniform look and make sure that it's not streaky. Now what I have is a smooth surface. It's nice and slick. It feels really good. You can tell it's clean. You can tell it's nice and pliable and buttery. And this is the way your suit and glove should feel. I want to show something else here, and that is what conditioner can do for damage, especially on a black panel. I always tell everybody, if you want a suit to last for a long, long time, don't get the high dollar kangaroo suit necessarily. Get a really thick cowhide black suit. And that would be a Thor.1 cowhide suit like this one. Last you a long time now. Here's why. So for longevity's sake, here's the black uh, panel on this suit. It's been damaged by some crash damage. Got some conditioner. You can see it's got a scrape there. Now I'm going to work this conditioner in to the scuffed area. Next to it, you've got some red scuffing and some white. The color has been pulled off the white, so that's not going to get any better. The red has black asphalt transfer, so it's only getting marginally better. But this black area, you can see, is almost new. Um, this is what happens when you condition damaged black leather. It just kind of comes around. And if it doesn't with conditioner, you can always dye it. You can even paint it, and I'll get to that at another time. But that's a nice bonus to conditioning your damaged, crashed suit. Well, everybody, as you can see, night is falling here at MSR Houston. I've spent a lot of time on these leathers, but I've got them desalted, cleaned, and conditioned. I'm gonna put the padding and the liner back in. I'll put it on the hang dry overnight, and Dave Doms is going to have a nice set of leathers for tomorrow's practice. Now, this video is intended to be kind of a quick overview on how to clean and condition your leathers, but if you go to our website, bisontrack.com, there's a blog that accompanies this video with a lot more detail as well as some additional products that you can use to take care of your leathers. If you have any questions or there's a topic you'd like us to address in a future video, please put that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you can see when those videos are released. Thank you everybody for watching, and until the next one, go fast, be safe.